Welcome to the Kentucky Department of Workers Claims LMS Registration Instructional Video. I'm your presenter, Tessa Soli Harris. I'm a programmer with the DWC Design and Development Team. Before we begin, you should know the electronic filing of pleadings utilizing the LMS system is mandatory beginning July 1, 2017. However, the DWC will always accept paper filings from pro se claimants. If you have any questions about the regulations, refer to 803 KAR. 25010 for more information. To register for LMS, the first thing you must do is navigate to our website, kyworkersclaims.lms.ky.gov. From this page, to register, click on the register link. You will first be asked to enter the email address that you wish to use to log into LMS. Be sure that this is an email address that you have access to because you'll need to access it to confirm your account registration later in this process. The second step will be to create a password and enter that password again. Then you will select three security questions. You have a number of questions to choose from. We would ask that you make a note of your answers to these questions. We do not have access to your answers to these questions and you will need them to retrieve your password if it's lost or you forget it. Once this is completed, click the Next button. Next you will choose the role in which you'll be using the system. You can register as Kentucky Attorney, Court Reporter, Other, or Attorney Support Staff. For this video, we will select Kentucky Attorney. On the next screen, you're prompted to enter your name, your address, city, state, postal code, phone number, gender, and Kentucky Bar ID. Your Bar ID will need to be entered twice. Click Next. This is the page where you select whether or not you would like to receive paperless notifications from DWC. Your selection here only dictates how you receive documents from DWC. For example, if a judge issues an order in your case and you have selected paperless notifications, you will not receive a paper copy of the judge's order, but you will receive an electronic notification on your dashboard. However, anything that is required by law to be mailed will still be mailed. Also, please note that your election here does not relieve you of the obligation to fulfill the certificate of service on documents you produce. The next page deals with terms and conditions. These cover topics such as submitting filings via LMS, user administration, fees and support, security and changes in terms, and access to information. Note the final line that says you should not submit paper copies of any electronic filings made to the DWC via LMS. Accept the terms and conditions and attest that you are 18 years of age or older Click Next, and you'll receive a success message. The next step is to access the email address that you use to register. You should receive an email that contains an activation link. Once you click on this link, you will be returned to the login screen where you can enter the email and password that you registered with previously and sign on to the system. Once you've successfully signed on, you will see your system dashboard. Our next video will cover the functions of this system dashboard. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, feel free to contact LMS Technical Support at the email address given here, or contact us by phone at 502-564-5550. Thank you.